This is the finished job with the uh, LED bow light secure and in position. It's a beautiful job. And then if we move down to the stern light, here it is assembled. And there it is. Now this is without the extension uh, extended, but you can see there's the light comes down to here. The nice thing is that you, with this, you can secure it with this right there and that holds it in place. And then you can take it out just as easy and stow it away, push this down. To secure that then when you want to put it back in you simply pull the flap you've got a little uh, screw right there that goes to the back so you know you've got it lined up push that down give it a little turn it's in position if you want to extend this up you simply loosen that up and you can extend that up a little hard to do it with just one hand but you can see how that can be done so we've got the stern light Very nice, all LED. This is the project today. This is the project today. I'm gonna to be replacing this 46 year old bow light green red bow light with this new led red green bow light interesting thing about the led it appears clear but it is a bow light and when it comes on it'll appear green and red so that's i've already taken out the three screws so this is going to come off this is going to come off here are my lights there's the wiring. I'll probably take some uh, epoxy and fill up those holes because I'm going to be drilling some new holes. And I'll be putting on this new LED light. Second part. The second part is to replace the stern light. And... 46 year old this is the original equipment right there the dome is broken and the rest of it's in pretty good shape but we're going to change everything out we're going to put in a new base this will be the new base right here it's got a little flap and that's where the pole is going to go in right there there's a flap and just like the front, got a new LED telescoping pole. We'll go up to 50 inches. And the reason we've got such a high one is to be regulation with the bimini, you want your stern light to be higher than the bimini. Probably most people don't have it that high. But this one will telescope up to 50 inches above the rail. So with this, and the nice thing about this is I can just remove this from this anytime I want and just store it. So that's the project today is to remove the old stern light, replace it with the new, re replace the old bow light, and replace it with new all LED. Here as with any project, Taking things off can be one of the biggest challenges. First thing I did, this was the old light and the wire it was attached to. And I just had to cut that with a pair of wire cutters. So that was taken off. That way I can slide it back through the um, pole. As far as taking off the mount, I've already done it. But 
It had three uh, regular uh, straight head uh, bolts that went through, and they were attached to lock washers. So it actually took two people, one person underneath holding the wrench, one person above with the screwdriver to loosen up those three pan head nut or screws. So after that, we were able to take off this unit. As you can see, take off the whole unit and you can just pull the wire right out. So now we've got the hole and we've got the mount, the old mount off. And we don't need the wire at the moment, so we can just push the wire back into the hole. So that way we'll have a good surface to start working with. So that's out of the way. All right, so need a little cleaning up. I've already cleaned it up once. Now what I'll probably do, these holes don't, aren't gonna match, so I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy this, these three holes closed, just so it's clean, just so I've got a better surface to start working on. So that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, I am gonna have to probably enlarge this hole. I've already taken this and tried putting it in there and it's a little larger, so I'm gonna use a drill with an attachment that's going to ream out that hole. Here's the attachment right here. And I'm going to take a drill and I'm enlarge that hole as I need to. Probably just a little bit with a drill just to make that hole a little bigger so that I can put the new pole mount in there and it's fitting flush. All right, so what I've done is I took the template that they have on the instructions and cut out the hole. As they describe, it's a one and a quarter inch hole. And you can see it's got a four and an aft, so the direction that they want you to do the hole. And that really is important for where you're going to drill your three holes to mount. You wouldn't want to reverse it. You want the thing tilting backward, not tilting forward. So. That's the reason for the, um, you want to make sure you get your holes lined up correctly. So what I did was, the hole that was in there was almost correct, but not quite. So I took a pencil, and I've made marks on the, on the structure, right, a little bit here, a little bit here, where I need to sand it out, just to make the hole just a little larger so that it fits in there, uh, snug, but not to where it's it's uh, pushing it. You want it to fit snug, but that's all, because you do have a nice rubber gasket for your seal. So that's the next step, is to grind that out a little bit so that we can get the attachment, the uh, pole attachment in there. And as you can see, it's gonna go in this way with that flap, which you're gonna pull out, and then the pole goes in, which is a very nice system. All right, I've made the hole larger. And I used two things. This was a Dremel that I used to finish it. Because you want to taper it a little bit. You don't want a hard edge with fiberglass that can tend to uh, cause uh, spider webbing. I did to get some of the heavier lifting, so to speak, on the grinding. I used the drill with that little heavier bit on the end for kind of getting the big stuff out. It was about an eighth of an inch, maybe in one place it was a quarter of an inch. So between that and the Dremel with the sander, I've got that hole pretty much ready. Now since I'm not going to be using this hole, or this hole, or this hole, I am going to go back, and I've changed tools on the Dremel. I'm just going to taper this out a little bit. Once again, when this was originally put on at the factory, they just drill straight through, and you've got a harsh angle right here. So I'm just going to taper that a little bit before I put the epoxy in. I'm going to do the same thing in the uh, at the bow, because I'm not going to be using those holes either. 
just to uh, get those uh, holes so that they're tapered so that they'll accept the epoxy a little better. So I'm going to do that right now. I took the old holes and I've epoxied over them. You can see them right there. I did the same thing at the bow. Um, so once those holes have cleaned up, probably touch them up a little bit, and then I'll be ready for actual installation. As with most jobs, the installation is the easy part. It's all the prep. It's the demo. It's the prep. Getting ready for installation, that's what takes the most time. But you want to get it right. So right now I'm making sure that all the old holes are taken care of. This is the finished job with the uh, LED bow light secure and in position. It's a beautiful job. And then if we move down to the stern light, here it is assembled. And there it is. Now this is without the extension uh, extended, but you can see there's the light. Comes down to here. The nice thing is that you, with this, you can secure it with this right there and that holds it in place and then you can take it out just as easy and stow it away push this down to secure that and when you want to put it back in you simply pull the flap you've got a little uh, screw right there that goes to the back so you know you've got it lined up push that down give it a little turn it's in position if you want to extend this up, you simply loosen that up and you can extend that up. A little hard to do it with just one hand, but you can see how that can be done. So we've got the stern light. Very nice. All LED.